two women have filed lawsuits alleging their husbands died from negligence at Inland Empire Hospitals after doctors prescribed remdesivir to treat COVID-19 and then failed to tell them about dangerous side effects of the antiviral drug. The lawsuits, filed last month in state court against Kaiser Permanente Riverside Medical Center and Redlands Community Hospital and several of their physicians, allege doctors engaged in fraud by prescribing each of the men remdesivir without their knowledge or consent. Doctors also allegedly failed to explain that the drug is ineffective in treating COVID-19, is toxic to kidneys and can cause death, the complaints say. In COVID-19 healthcare circles across the country, remdesivir has carried the nickname run, death is near, said the civil complaint, which say. Remdesivir is medically unnecessary for treatment of COVID-19. The World Health Organization issued a recommendation in November 2020 against the use of remdesivir regardless of disease severity, saying there is no evidence the drug improves survival or shortens recovery. Additionally, the National Institutes of Health said individuals with kidney impairment or failure may experience liver or kidney toxicity due to the release of sulfobutyl ether beta cyclodextrin sodium contained in remdesivir. Gilead Sciences, which manufactures remdesivir under the brand name Vecleary, said it welcomes oversight by WHO and maintains the drug as an effective treatment for COVID-19. Vecleary is playing a critical role in the pandemic by helping to prevent disease progression and enabling patients to recover. Vecleary is recommended worldwide in both mild to moderate and severe COVID-19 disease by several key guidelines in more than 40 countries. Christina Briones alleges in one of the lawsuits that her 50-year-old husband, Rodney Briones, had a low chance of dying from COVID-19 when he developed symptoms of the virus on August 1, 2021.